hogs on the mile planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. So yesterday's game, New England Patriots versus the Ravens. Um, let's let's just go straight to the stats. Lamar, eighteen complete, twenty nine. Attempts, 218 yards, 7.5 average. Um, four TDs. You know, he had the Jackson 5 with the one TD. He rushed. But he got four sa uh, he got sacked four times as well. Um, one interception. Uh, QB rating, pretty good. Um, at first, it was a little rocky. Um, for as a play call, a little bit in the offense on the uh, first half. But then they started pretty much cooking. Because when um, McKyrie went down, the uh, left tackle went down. Army Swiss Army knife, as we call him, went down. We was like, "What the heck?" Then Falele came out there. Falele did pretty pretty good, um, even though he's a right tackle, but he did pretty good. Um, at first, they kept calling plays like on his side. I'm like, "What the heck?" But throughout the game, I give props to Giro. He adjusted it um, for his rushing. Um, Lamar, 11 carries, 107 yards. Longest one was 38 yards. And I know on that, that uh, 38 run, it seemed like he was jogging. Like, I'm like, is this dude running that fast where everybody around him looking like they're in slow motion or something? Because that was just like kind of like a weird run. But he did good. Justice Hill, um, he got his start finally, started getting more carries. Um, six carries, hit a big one for 34 yards. I missed that, but on the highlights, I uh, went back and looked at it. Awesome. Um, but he got, uh, like I said, 60 yards, 10.0 average for his dad, J.K. Dobbins. We finally see J.K. Dobbins. Um, seven carries, 23 yards, 3.3 .3 right there. To me, that's, that's already better than Drake and Davis. Come on now. But we know he's going to get better and better as each week as he's coming from that uh, the injury he had. But the only Russian TD that was given was Lamar. Lamar is the only one that got the Russian TD. Now, as far as receiving, um, we know Belichick loves to stop one key part that helps your team win. And surprisingly... He stopped our wide receivers. Like, I was like, what in the world? Because I could tell at the beginning, Lamar was looking for the wide receivers, but it wasn't there. So that's when he started feeding Andrews. Andrews was just going off. Andrews did have a drop. But after that one drop, he went to another level. Um, he has eight receptions, 89 yards, two TDs. I believe he got those two TDs in the first half. Um... But 11.1 uh, yards average out of 13 targets. Um, but he was just going off. And then Bateman had that, I don't know, I still don't know if that was a catch or a fumble. But they, they, they said it was a, uh, a fumble. In my opinion, after looking at the replay and looking at the highlight, when he caught the ball, it still kind of bobbled because old dude was kind of hitting him at the same time. So it still kind of bobbled. But I feel like they was trying to, you know, give him a little, just a little bit of field, a home field advantage, trying to help him out a little bit there. But it still didn't work. Um, but he had uh, 59 yards. Uh, longest one was 35 yards. That dude can go with yak. He is a yak monster. And this is still just the beginning. We only in week three. So I believe he's going to get better and better because um, Belichick, he, he, he shut out wide receivers down. He went, Devin Duvernay. Devin Duvernay got that one TD, but two receptions, 25 yards. That's it. So he really shut that down. That was only that was all our wide receivers, really, because Demarcus Robinson got one thrown his way, um, but he couldn't even – catch that that was like Belichick like shut all of that down if you now if you look at the pass uh, against the Jets and um against the Dolphins you see the wide receivers they was killing it they was killing it so 
Belichick saw him was like, I'm finna shut that down. But he got the Mark Andrews. He got Mandrews. Um, but even uh, Josh Oliver, Josh Oliver got a touchdown. That that shows you how much attention that Belichick was going to with the uh, wide receivers. Josh Oliver, I think he's like our third, fourth. No, he's like our fourth, fourth tight end. I don't think Boyle he's out again or something like that. But uh, so we had that, and then also um, the defense. The old man led the team. Josh Bynes, I was talking about him in the stream. How the Ravens love their old players, but he led the team in tackles. Um, he got eight solo tackles. That led the team as well. Total tackles, he had 10. He also had the uh, interception. The interception, that was nice. He got in a slid in there like a baseball slide. That was a beautiful interception. Um, Chuck Clark, he did pretty good. He did good. Marlon Humphrey. Now, PQ, PQ was... 50-50, I would say. Some good, some bad. He's still not consistent. I don't I don't know about that. And I like PQ. But he gave it was like miscommunication on one play with, with the um right after he dropped almost dropped the intercepts. He could have had a pick six. He dropped that. But then right after that, I'm like, obviously they're gonna run it. Billy Chick like looking at Mac Jones like, dude, you almost enter through an interception. Everybody know we're going to run it now, but when they went on the next play, PQ and it was somebody else went to cover the same dude and left a whole big old gap on the guy on the goal line. Easy run in for the TD. Other than that, um, oh he I saw him miss some gap. He got a problem with missing gaps. Like that first week, he was killed it, but I don't know. He's very inconsistent. Um, Odafi Owe, I don't know. He just, gosh. let me just keep going on. Um, when did Justin Matabuki got a sack? PQ did get a sack. I give him that. I give him that. Um, Brandon Copeland got a sack. He showed more effort than Owe, in my opinion. When he was out there, I don't know the snap count. I haven't looked at that yet. But he showed more effort than everything more more uh motor as they say um then oa so i don't know what's going on with oa um but marcus peters yes yes marlon humphrey got an interception forgot to add that but marcus peters got an interception and what's funny about that is on marlon's um you know little victory instagram thing he does I saw a video they showed he uh asked uh Marcus Peters how does it feel? So that that interaction with them two is funny. And uh it was cool to see Justin Houston sitting next to uh, his boy Marcus Peters because he said Marcus Peters did recruit him to the Ravens. But that was nice to see. Adrian, you grinding, you grinding. You come back, get the pick, get the ball in your hands again. How did it feel? I mean, I know you got about 40 of them. Okay, yep, I can do that. Um, but we had a total of three interceptions. We got the old man Bynes. Marlon got an interception. Marcus Peters got an interception. Cal Hamilton. Now, Cal Hamilton, I think they show his snap count was like 24% or something like that. But when he when he he made a real huge play with that first fumble and Marcus Peters recovered that fumble because he tracked that guy down, punched that ball out. Cause uh they was cooking our they were cooking our uh young cornerbacks, Pepe and mainly a Mark Davis. I seen a Mark Davis out there getting cooked more than Pepe with uh Parker because Parker was going off. Only time he didn't go off was when he's on Marcus uh Peters and um Martin Humphrey. I know he caught one on Marcus Peters, but that was in my opinion, that was a zone. So that really wasn't on, you know, it was just zone. He just ran in. He's kind of in the middle of uh, the safety zone and the cornerback zone. So that can go different. But special teams, only thing with special teams is Stroud. He did like a 20-yard or something like that. He only did like a 20-yard punt or something like that. 
other than that, he did good. Um, Derry Duvernay Forrest, kick returns. He's going to be a pro bowler again because that dude got juiced. They, they st even starting to be scared of kicking it to him now. That Devin Hester, Jacoby Jones type stuff. I said he's a Jacoby. He'll give you a little bit of wide receiver play. But in special teams, he'll get you. He'll get you. But other than that, it was a good game. We finally beat them on their home turf in a regular season. And I was like, that's cool. I didn't know they, they did us like that. But um, that was cool, you know, uh, how they ended the game. Defense still needs a little work. But the offense is not doing pretty bad. Not doing bad, really. They And they, they still, you know, ain't. Ain't to that level where they need to be, but they're not doing bad. Defense still got still got some work to do. We uh that pass rush, I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like they gas out extremely fast. But tell me what y'all think think about the game. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.